Most people know you can design things in Canva, but very few realize you can use Canva just to edit your photos without creating a design. If you've never tried this, watch this video until the end. Without further ado, let's hop in. Canva's free online photo editor allows you to take your photos further. Simply upload, edit, and share instantly from one place. You can edit your photos effortlessly, you can use ready-to-go photo effects, and you can touch up your images using the Photo Enhancer tool. You can also use time-saving tools like Smart Mockups and Background Remover to take your designs to the next level. If you would like access to features like Background Remover, you would need to have a pro account. If you don't currently have one, feel free to utilize my link, lashondabrown.com slash canva45 to get access to a free 45 day trial. To edit your photo, you just walk through three easy steps. Upload your photo straight into Canva, or you can get started with one of the templates. Add filters, effects, adjustments, or customize with frame, text, or stickers, and then download and share. To get started, we're going to locate the upload button in the top right-hand corner and we are going to browse our desktop to find an image to edit. The tutorials are my love language design was actually created in Canva, and so it's one of my favorite t-shirts. So I just thought this would be a fun photo to use for this example. Now, if I wanted to, I could drop it into a design, but if I simply wanted to edit the photo, I can just click on edit photo. From there, the photo editor will pop up and it will show me the tools available to edit my design. It says at the top, you are using our new dedicated image editor. For all features, open this photo in a design. So you're not gonna see the full breadth of options within this view, but if you simply want to edit a photo without dropping it into a design, you can go this route. So on the left-hand side, you're going to see effects, adjust, and crop. You're also going to see the background remover tool. So I'm going to get started by clicking on filters. I'll click on see all, and then I'm going to apply a warm filter to this design. Now, if I want to decrease the intensity, which I definitely do, then I'm going to click on that circle in the far right and drag it to the left. So you can see what it does to the couch is very intense the further I go along and it looks less natural. So splitting the difference allows that color to pop without looking unnatural. So we'll do that. After that, we're going to click on adjust. So if I wanted to play around with auto adjust, I could click that at the top or I could play around with the white balance, the light, the color, or even add a texture. So I'm just going to mess with a few of these briefly so you can see what it does. We'll add a little light. We'll make it a little cool. We'll add some contrast, maybe decrease some highlights. And so you can see it's very easy for you to click and drag. You can also type in numbers into the boxes to the very far right. Now adding a vignette may be something you want to do. So again, you can click and drag that. If you need to undo what you've done, you can always hit reset adjustments. Now in this case, I would like to crop it as a square. And so if I click there, it's going to give me those crop lines and I'm going to simply drag my photo and we'll click done. The last thing I want to do is use the background remover tool, which will turn this image into a little sticker that I can use on top of other designs. Now, again, if I wanted to use this in a design, I could click there. Otherwise, I could click save. So for this example, we're gonna keep going. We're going to use it in a design. And I think what I want to do is utilize it in an Instagram story template. So I resized my design using the magic resize tool. And what happened because I edited this image using the pop-out photo editor is it actually filled the entire background with the image. So if that happens to you, just select your image right click and say detach image from background and that will remove it from the background and allow you to make some changes there. 
So that looks good there. I am just gonna get really extra here. We are going to add our favorite fireworks to the background. So we'll click and drag that video and position it to the back. And I am actually going to add an outline. This is something that's really popular right now. So the way that I get that little outline effect is I go to edit image and click on shadows, then glow. And then if I click on the little um, sliders there, I can adjust how that appears. So we want it to glow white. And you can see here, you can move the transparency. So you're gonna bring that to 100. Let's see, we don't want any blur and we want to increase the size. And so now I look like a little sticker on top of this background. And for some text, this is a really crazy design. Okay, for the text, we're gonna say namaste, y'all. So what's fun about that photo editor tool is you can edit an image that would be the entire background for your design, but you could also use it to edit little images of yourself to turn yourself into a sticker. So the possibilities are really endless when it comes to how you can leverage Canva to tell your story visually, but I just wanted to show you the different options in the event that you were paying for a separate photo tool, you could potentially cancel that subscription by simply utilizing the editing tools built into your Canva Pro account. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm LaShonda Brown, a Canva verified expert from Virginia. If you would like to try Canva Pro free for 45 days, visit LaShondaBrown.com slash Canva 45. And if you like this video, you'll definitely want to watch my video about the video background remover tool that helps you edit your videos inside Canva. Until next time, ta-ta for now.